Hello to all of you, I am Matt Bell and welcome to Space Engine. This is a little game you might not have heard about and that might have three reasons. First of all, uh, it basically uh, is not very popular yet. Uh, it is not finished yet and uh, it probably isn't really supposed to be a game just now. Um, and that is uh, because it is mostly a simulation, but uh, what kind of simulation it is, I will show you in a second. You basically, well, start off somewhere on this uh, planet here, and you can move around and uh, have a look at the nice water over here, and watch the sun, and uh, the grass, and the sand over there, and uh, then you can just... Go ahead, speed up, and go into space! That's it. That's basically uh, the whole thing of the game so far. Um, it is a space simulation and a very, very accurate one. Um, this is probably the greatest thing I have found on the internet so far because this simulation simulates the whole universe, the whole known universe, which is absolutely incredible, I must say. And uh, with that I mean, um, by the whole universe, I mean that uh, the game developer, I think it is only one or two persons, which is another incredible thing, um, they took all the data they could get from uh, research and stuff like that, and then they threw it into the game. That means that we have uh, all the suns, all the known galaxies, all the known... I don't what, know what else there is in the game. Uh, what is that? Oh, that's another another sun. Um, go there, please. They have put all the data they could get, all the scientific data, threw it into the game, so that means uh, that all of uh, the stars, the known stars, all of the known uh, galaxies and stuff like that, everything is at the right position. And um, then they decided, whoops, oh, I'm a bit too fast. Then they decided to add planets, and the planets they know of, they have put where they belong, and uh, to all the other stars where they're might or might not be uh, planets, all the other planets are randomly generated, which is amazing because basically every sun, every sun, every little thing, every dot you can see there is a sun, and well, basically that's even a galaxy, that's the galaxy Andromeda, which has billions of suns, or even more than that, and each one of that sun has not each one, but most of them have multiple planets and those planets might have moons and there are asteroids in this game which are uh, uh, simulated as well and I mean just just look at this. This is a galaxy I found um, somewhere, let's see where it is, there is the star in the center where I am currently and then if you zoom out you can see all those uh, circles, all those yellow circles and everything is a star system, just like the one we are living in. And there it says it's a red, a red dwarf, which has 10 planets, and by pressing F2, I can see all those planets, and uh, some of them have moons, and I can go to every single one of them by simply pr pushing G, and uh, then it shows me where it is. Then I am moving very fast by... 20 light years per second, which is definitely not possible. Well, at least not uh, so far. And ta da! There I am at the moon of this uh, gas giant over here. And then I can zoom in and I can zoom out and I can have a look at the. Well, there it is, the sun of this system. And I can even go to the surface, as I did before on that planet where we started, you remember? And uh, then it starts to generate everything. And, uh, well, the detail is not perfect uh, while I'm playing, uh, while I'm recording this video, because um, 
if I am playing on highest detail when I want to have, I don't know, for example, um, I want to make screenshots of the game which look very, very realistic and very, very nice, uh, then it takes, then it can take a few minutes to load in all the textures of the planet I am currently on. And uh, I didn't want to have that for that video. And as you can see, it still looks pretty nice. You can speed up a little bit. It looks pretty nice and uh, I think for the sake of the video it's it's good as it is and I uh, it is just wonderful look at that there is the galaxy somewhere there should be the Sun oh no wait that's not right <laughs> there should be the Sun somewhere uh, but I can't seem to find it at the moment um but anyway <laughs> I was about to show you uh, the scale of everything. This is this is the planet this uh, moon rotates around and This is the star this planet rotates around and uh, All those little dots over here. Those are uh, Asteroids which I can also land on of course Basically, let's have a look at one of those just take one for example, and then Then we'll see how this looks all right. There we are. This is us asteroid RS8474-918-8-5265 blah 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 and so on basically just a giant rock flying in space um, and there are billions of them hundreds of them alone in this star system and it is I believe it's simply amazing that every single one of them is uh, is simulated every single one of them is generated randomly of course and uh, again all of those dots you see there uh, you can land on and you can have a look on and I would suggest I'm just I'm just going straight into that galaxy over there and I have to speed up a lot to do that in time I am moving with 23, with 37 astronomical units per per second. An astronomical unit is uh, the distance from the sun, uh, well, the distance between the sun and the earth. That's one astronomical unit. But I need to speed up still, and I'm moving with 3.47 light years per second now. And then you see there are, uh, that the stars are starting to move. And when I speed up even further, and this is like warp speed from, I don't know, all the sci-fi movies. And uh, then we slowly get closer to the galaxy. Um, and then you can start picking up, picking one planet, uh, one sun, of course. And there we have it. That's even cooler, I'd say. All of this are stars and on every single one of them you can land well, well not on the stars you can land but on the planets around them and again there are so incredibly many you have no idea you can't imagine the number well I can't either so as let's just pick one of them just click anywhere and you see I hit a star with several numbers of planets and each one is one is different and that is simply simply crazy in my opinion let's just for example just go there and have a look how how this one looks there we are we are quite in the center of the galaxy and then we have this uh, nice what is that a warm ice giant with one moon Let's see the moon. How does this look like? Ooh, it's pretty big. It's called a warm Selena. Let's land on the moon and see whether we can get a nice view on the scenery. This... wait. This might be a nice image, right? And it is randomly generated. That's the absolutely fascinating thing about it. 
it is randomly generated and it still looks so awesome. I have no idea how that works. And basically, uh, the thing where the developers are uh, trying to go is uh, that they want to have uh, a full simulation later on, like, I don't know, a star simulation and uh, with uh, star ships and everything. They have the first few ships already integrated into the game, but I have no goddamn idea how they work. Uh, I can show you one. Uh, for example, let's have, uh, I don't know, the SS Basic maybe. There we have it, and uh, where is it? Where is it? Where, where, where? I lost a spaceship. Not cool. Uh, can you go there? There we go. There we have it. I don't know where it went all of a sudden, but it is there. Um, they have proper mechanics to move them around. Uh, implemented already in the game, but I again I have no idea how they work. So um, I can only look at them and appreciate how nice they look. Uh, but everything else, don't ask me what to do with them. So uh, sooner or later it will crash into into uh, either the moon or this planet. And I have tried out what that happens. It just floats through it. Uh, well, there you can. There you can see that this is uh, just still under uh, construction everything. <laughs> Again, I'd like to show you how many stars there are only in this single one galaxy. Because now if I zoom out, you can see there are, yeah, there are pretty a lot. And then I zoom out even further and then you don't see anything anymore because it's, all those are stars. You don't see shit anymore, basically, <laughs> because everything is filled with stars, and uh, then it starts to filter some out, because it's just getting uh, too confusing otherwise. Also, this is not a static image of, uh, uh, the, of the universe of the current time. Time is simulated as well, so, uh, for example, if I speed up, now here you can see the time scale, multiplied by 100, 300, 1000, then you can start seeing the moons move around, uh, the lighting, lightning is getting a bit darker maybe, sun will set probably eventually, and also you can see this is a planet with atmosphere, so there might be clouds moving around, and uh, yeah, there you can see it, oh that's nice. Seeing the moon set, oh my god. <sighs> that is so freaking awesome. And uh, this is as well a nice planet because it has rings, as you can see over here. Those two things are the rings of this planet. And you can see all of the dots. I could click and go there and have a look around and explore. My god, this is so amazing. And there we have it. The sun is rising again and it has become day again. There's the sun basically. Uh, should be somewhere over there? Maybe? I don't know where the sun is actually. Whoops, I don't know. Anyway, let's get out of here again and have a look from uh, outside at the scenery. Oh. There you can see the planet rotate, and uh, all the moons move around it. Oh wow, look at that. Everything is moving, everything is turning, and everything looks so awesome. There come the shadows because the sun is going down. Oh, that's... Oh my god! Oh yeah, and I still haven't showed you uh, the full scale of everything. Uh, I, I always get distracted when I play this game. I say I want to go there, I want to do that. And then I see something interesting over there, and then I go there first, and I forget about everything else. And basically that's what happened here again. 
So let's zoom out now. You can see here the scale. I was at the planet there. There are the moons. I can see all of them. Then I am right here. I can see the whole system. Then I zoom further out and I can see uh, the near stars, a few of them. And then uh, I zoom further out and I can see the whole damn galaxy. This thing. The Milky Way. Oh, I'm still in the Milky Way. Interesting. I, w I thought I was mo had moving. I hadn't moved out there already. All right, and when I move out even further, I can see the near galaxies. There are quite a lot of them, as you can see. And uh, then I can still move out further. And uh, then I have the universe. And I don't know what I should say about that. I have no idea. Well, basically, let's... I don't know. Let's go to this galaxy. Everything is moving incredibly fast. I'm going with over 100... With over 100 million light years per second. Okay, so what do we have here? Is that even something... I don't know, let's zoom in and try to find out. Yeah, it is something. There are a lot of stars. And I want to find out what I will find there, huh? So, for example, I found this system with a few moons, a few stars, or one star. No, two stars, right? Wasn't it? I think it was... Yeah, it was... Oh, it has a black hole. That's interesting. I should have a look at that as well. Uh, this blue supergiant... This is blue and super giant and incredibly bright. So let's go uh, uh, a bit closer. Cover your eyes, maybe, because looking into the sun is dangerous for your eyes. And this is much brighter than the sun we have out there. So, uh, well, we can't see any textures because it is so bright. Um... We basically can't see anything else because uh, it's too bright to see anything. And there we have it! The black hole! A very interesting phenomenon. Um, which most people can't really understand and most people can't really explain and uh, which is super duper weird. Um, but looks so incredibly cool. Uh, I don't know what I got to do with that. I mean, it's giant and it's incredible. And ah, there we have the sun, uh, which is a, which, which with which this black hole is in one system. And uh, <laughs> I, this is just so cool. This is just too awesome. And I mean. Quite like this. This might be even in real life like this, so... Ah, I don't know what to say about that. I really don't know what to say about it. Also, there is the possibility to go to, uh, to, go to some uh, formerly picked uh, locations by uh, the game, uh, which you can access through this menu. So there are a few locations which have a uh, few names and... Uh, which are looking especially great. So, um, and yeah, I can definitely, uh, I can definitely, definitely say, yep, that's true. Because have a look at this. There is a volcano on a planet with rings and a nearby double moon. There we have one moon. No, that's actually, huh, that's actually an asteroid, and that is a moon. And it has an atmosphere, and it looks awesome, and. I don't know what to say about that anymore. <laughs> and again, this is only um, this is only the medium graphics settings. So this looks even better when you uh, have the time to uh, well uh, to load in more textures, which I don't have at the time, or I could have it, but I don't want to. Okay, so I think we're going to leave this video with this beautiful view and uh, Well, what can I say? What are my last words to this video? basically uh, 
go and support this game. Go and uh, get it. It is free. I haven't mentioned that before. For, uh, damn it. How could I forget that? This game, this simulation is free. It's absolutely free. You can go get to go the go to the website. I, I will leave a link in the description if I don't forget it. Huh? Um, you can go to the website and download it just for free. And uh, if you liked it, you can uh, donate some money, of course, and uh, help this game and uh, uh, help the developers creating this 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 insanely cool thing. And uh, I hope you do so. So uh, also, also, also. Spread the word about this game. Don't tell the people about my video. It doesn't matter. Well, if you do, it's okay. It's I'm cool with that as well. But tell the people about this game. This needs more attention. I beg you, please do that. Um, but besides that, I think I only have to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, then please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, share the video, basically well, just do what you want. So I hope to see you all in the next video. Until then, have a good time and bye-bye. Uh,